A lot of people seem to think that you know, this is a, a lure that you should be bouncing on the bottom. And uh, of course, if you try this on the North Shore or Montauk in any kind of rocky areas, this, you, know, you can't do this at all because you're going to get hung up, you're going to lose it. Um, and I have a couple influences that make me say, you know, swim it, don't, don't bounce it. One is I do a fair amount of scuba diving. I just love watching fish underwater. And you know, I've seen fluke and bergals and little blackfish and all this stuff that they actually eat. And you know, none of them are sitting there going bump, 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 bump across the bottom. You know, they're, they're sitting there and they're gliding. So when I talk about swimming the bucktail, I think it's just a much more natural presentation than bouncing it. Um, the other thing is I used to do a fair amount of uh, bucktailing out in the race, uh, the gut sluice sway out uh, east of Orient Point out in the boats. And um, the way they do that is they've got a three-way swivel and about a foot below that there's like a one-pound sinker. You've got a, a leader that's about five feet to a bucktail. You drop this whole thing to the bottom, you pick it up like two cranks, and you just hold it. You don't bounce it, you don't jig it, you just hold it. And, and this is a devastating way to catch striped bass. And, and commercial rod and reel fishermen, you know, pit hookers, you know, they've done this for decades to load their boat with bass. And, you know, that bucktail is just, just gliding along. So, so this is what we're aiming to do. Get it near the bottom, glide <coughs> along, slow to moderate.